Electronic chemistry is just like money in our life. It's so important with all of our substance is going to compete to get electrons. So today, we're going to learn about what's the potential of a substance to gain electron when they compare themselves to hydrogens. So how do they compare? We're going to use the standard electron potential where all of the substance are given an E0 value. So this is pronounced as E0 value. So we're going to look at the series where all of the substance are written down in the half cell reduction equations where all of them are being illustrated with what would they become when they gain electrons as we mentioned before all of them are given with an E0 value where hydrogen is set as zero whenever you have a smaller value or a negative numbers it means you will lose the electrons when you compete with hydrogens and whoever have a bigger value or a positive value it means they will gain electrons when they compete with hydrogens so how do we memorize i don't know sorry bro sorry bro means whoever that has a smaller enough value will undergo oxidations and they themselves are the reducing agents but once we decide who has a smaller enough value, please reverse the equation. Meanwhile, for bro means whoever has a bigger value will undergo reductions and they themselves are eventually the oxidizing agent. So how do we decide which one is anode and which one is cathode? It's very easy. Whoever get an A in the exam, please say sorry with your friends, be humble. So sorry means anode. Meanwhile, bro, everybody loves cat, right? Cat is our bro in the life. So it means, bro means cat dot. But how do we decide which one is positive and which one is negative terminal? It's going to be very easy. We're going to look at whether we have battery or we don't have battery. If we have battery, means we are energized to study. Of course, we will get an A plus in the exam. So if we have battery, and not is positive and cathode is negative. Meanwhile, if you don't have battery, and most of the time if you only see the watt meter, it means we don't have energy to study, means most probably that we will get an A- in the exam, and cathode is going to be our positive for now. So let's have an example. We will look at zinc and copper, and we will compare the enode value and see what happened. As we can see here, zinc has a smaller enode value. Meanwhile, Copper has a bigger E0 value. So the first thing we're going to do is, once we decide who has a smaller value, we're going to reverse the equations. Where zinc supposed to be on the right hand side, now we're going to write it down on the left hand side. And whoever on the left would now go into the right hand side. This is what I mean by reverse the equations once we know who it has a smaller value. So it's why we have something like this. Meanwhile, for bro, just be yourself. No need to do anything about it. So how we're going to explain the reactions is going to look at the equations and do the explanation from left to right. So we can see the zinc metal undergo oxidations to become zinc 2 plus ion by release two electrons. As we can see here, zinc throw away the two electrons to the right hand side. So it means it will lose two of the electrons. And they themselves are the reducing agent. So what can we observe from here is, zinc in the beginning is a solid. And now they dissolve to become zinc 2 plus ion. So what we can see is, the zinc electron is getting smaller. As we know, the zinc solid dissolve to become the zinc 2 plus ion. Meanwhile, in other hand, what we have is the copper 2 plus ion undergo reductions by receive two of the electrons to become copper atom or copper metal. So copper 2 plus ion is our oxidizing agent. And what we can observe is the copper 2 plus ion after undergo reductions, they become the copper atom or the copper metal, which is solid. Means the size is now become bigger. Not only that, 
what we know is copper 2 plus is actually blue in color but now they become the brown solid so eventually the blue color intensity in the solutions will actually decreases and most of the times we need to write down the overall ionic equations it's going to be very easy since we did do the reverse whatever on the left will write down together on the left so we're going to write now as zinc solid plus copper 2 plus equals plus 2 electrons and now we're going to write down whatever on the right zinc 2 plus plus 2 e minus so it's the zinc ion plus 2 electrons plus copper which is solid and all of you are the mathematics expert what we're going to do is we're going to cancel out the two electrons on the left and on the right so what we're going to left is something like this but not only that we are required to learn how to write the cell notations it's going to be very easy once you know sorry bro we're going to do sorry bro from left to right so sorry start with zinc solid so we're going to write it down zinc solid write down a vertical line and then go for zinc 2 plus equals so once we have this one we're done with sorry do a double line and now we start with bro which is cu 2 plus equals so once we have this one draw a line again and then last one is the copper solid so the line represents whenever we have a change in the state of metals where we know zinc solid is now become aqueous form the double line here is represent our salt bridge where we keep the neutrality of your circuit meanwhile whenever that you have two same state let's say we have fe2 plus which is aqueous and fe3 plus is also aqueous then we wouldn't need to have any boundary in the middle the boundary is just to represent whenever we have a change in stat and the last one what we're going to do is we learn what is the voltage of the cells it's going to be very easy to find the emf of a cell with a bigger value minus the smaller value but don't forget we always need to have the bracket for the negative numbers so this way we have 1.1 volts and please remember that whenever that we have a smaller value reverse your equations why it's so important is because if you don't reverse it you will get everything wrong as we can see here zinc 2 plus ion is not the one undergo oxidations but instead it's a zinc solid that undergoes the oxidations so this is why it's very important for you to reverse the equations once we know who is saying sorry meanwhile for bro just be yourself keep it like what it should be hey if you have any questions or would like to see any kind of video do leave your comments below and let me know if you want to support us so that we could make more video like this the simplest way is just by sharing the video with your friends click the like buttons and consider subscribe to this channel see you in the next video